Welcome to step six, which is the actual animal presentation. You will be preparing a slideshow to present the information to your friends and classmates. You're you can either use Google Slides or Canva.com to create a presentation slideshow on the researched animal. Be sure to use all of the topics and slides in the template. Use the information in the research paper. I also like to use the graphic organizer from your research. That might be a little bit easier to use that when you are forming your slideshow. Now, a couple ideas about slideshows. You shouldn't put too much writing in on a slideshow. For instance, you're not going to copy and paste what you wrote from your research paper and just plop it on the slide. You want to include a couple pictures that demonstrate or show your animal doing whatever that activity is or being in the habitat that you are describing. So for instance, if your first slide is about the lion's habitat, you are going to actually show a picture of a lion in that habitat. And then you might put uh, lion's habitat as the heading, and then in bullet points, you don't even need complete sentences on slideshows, in bullet points, list the type of habitat that lions enjoy the most. When you present, you will be presenting in complete sentences with the words that you say, but that slideshow kind of just gives the most important information that is out there. So I have two templates for you to choose from. One is the Google template. You'll make a copy, but don't forget to bookmark that copy or else you'll forever be making a new copy instead of going right to your bookmark. Or you can use Canva, which I've also made a template. I put a link to your research paper, but you might want to go back to day one and use this graphic organizer. It might be a little bit easier to get the information onto the, the templates that way. You will notice that both templates are organized in the same way. So this is the Google Slides template. Now, this is going to be very boring. I haven't added background color, pictures, that sort of thing. But the first slide is going to be the headline. You are going to do the name of your animal and then think of a catchy phrase. Like for instance, I might put lions, the kings of the jungle. And so you might think of what their best uh, attribute was and add that as the tagline. In Canva, same thing. Uh, you have your animal and a catchy phrase that should say, very good. The second slide is labeled habitat in both. That is where you're going to add a picture of the, the habitat of your animal and the main bullet points of where that animal likes to live. Physical characteristics for both of them, again. And again, you can find that following along with that first graphic organizer that you made, it should be easy to follow along. <clears throat> After that, diet, hunting, and sleeping habits, you're going to list the most important attributes of that. So I won't go through each category, but each category follows that same format. And I even have a couple of your choice slides that you can include some additional information or you can delete if you don't need it. But the last slide on each of those is the sources. Where did you get your information? And you can copy that from your sources page in your research paper. Remember that last page in your research paper is sources, and so you could just copy that and paste it at the end. It is important to give credit to where you got the information from. And so that is your introduction to it. Remember, you need a picture or two on each of the slides, and you also need some writing, but don't copy and paste what you wrote directly from your research paper, because then that would not be as engaging of a presentation. Okay, good luck with your work.